Cavinti, officially the municipality of Cavinti, Tagalog, Bayan ng Cavinti, is a third-class municipality in the province of Laguna, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 21,702 people. Situated in the Sierra Madre mountain range, it is also known as the Land of the Seven Falls. Major produce are its pandan-made products, including the sambalilo, straw hat. It is also known for its underground cathedral cave, Cavinti Falls, and Bumbungan Eco Park. Geography Cavinti is situated on the eastern side of the province of Laguna. The town is bounded by the municipality of Lumban in the north, by the municipalities of Sampaloc, Quezon and Mauban, Quezon in the east, Pagsingen in the west, and by Louisiana in the south. It has 19 barangays. Climate Like most areas in the province of Laguna, the climate of Cavinti is characterized by two pronounced seasons, dry from March to May and wet during the rest of the year. High temperature, 27 degrees Celsius 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Low temperature, 21 degrees Celsius 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Barangays Cavinti is politically subdivided into two urban and 17 rural barangays. Poblacion It is the center of commercial and business activities in Cavinti. Almost all of the basic municipal facilities are located in Poblacion including the Municipal Hall, Town Plaza, ABC Multipurpose Hall, the Public Market, and many commercial and business establishments. The Catholic Church Transfiguration Parish and Aglipayan Church are also located in Poblacion. History Legends have it that the name Cavinti came from the phrase, Capit sa Binti, which the first Spanish colonizers found very difficult to pronounce. It is said that the very first day these colonizers arrived in this place, a wedding was taking place. The rite, so the story goes, was very unique because it was different from the conventional wedding ceremonies done in churches or civil courts. In that ritual, the Spaniards saw the groom running after the bride. The idea behind the whole thing was to let the groom run after the bride as the witnessing crowd kept watching. Once the bride caught the nuptial was consummated. So the bride ran uphill and downhill, through clear and wooded areas, on dry swampy paths as the groom kept following behind. Down yonder, the pair reached a stream, probably the Cavinti River, which fortunately or unfortunately was at that time swollen due to floodwaters. The unwary bride jumped into it. The groom followed without let up. Suddenly the undercurrent snatched the girl catching her unaware of a coming danger. Nearby at the river bank, the bride's younger sister, who was in the midst of the crowd cried out, Kaka, Kapit Sa Binti, pointing to the groom. She shouted it out on top of her voice in a desperate effort to save her older sister. For sake of her dear life, the bride gasping for breath obeyed without hesitation. That very moment the sister's cry of, Kaka, Kapit Sa Binti, became words of magic, for, it saved not only the bride's life or the wedding tragic ending. It served most especially the town for having a name it can call its own. The town of Cavinti was originally a part of Lumban, Laguna. It was only in 1619 when the town gained complete and independent status as a parish by virtue of a papal bull believed to have come directly from Rome. In fact, this was why, again according to the legends, the two Puhawan brothers of Lumban, in search of food in early 1600, reached Cavinti where they found an image which turned out to be that of El Salvador. They brought the image to their home in Lumban. But in no time, it got lost only to be found again the very same place where it was first discovered. Today on that hallowed ground stands majestically the centuries-old Catholic Church in honor of El Salvador built by the town's forebears for all the generations to enjoy and cherish. The church's early structures were made of light materials. For many times they had to rebuild it on account of destruction wrought by natural calamities such as earthquakes, typhoons, and fires. The ecclesiastical supervision of the church also belonged to Lumban since its founding. Even at the time of the construction of the first stone church in 1621. 
the Spanish period. During this era, Cavinti is one of the least villages of Lumban, Laguna. The population is very low and no significant development was recorded since during that time development was focused on municipality of Lumban. The town of Cavinti serves that time as a hunting ground for hunters. The American period Cavinti became one of the municipalities with high insurgency due to the construction of hydropower dam where several lands were submerged. Two connected man-made lakes, Lake Lumot and Lake Caliraya, were built by American engineers in 1943 to supply water to the Caliraya hydroelectric plant. As the dams were constructed, entrepreneurs with foresight created two adjacent communities which were envisioned to be ecological communities, where one can enjoy the beauty and richness of unspoiled nature. The results were man-made mountain lakes complete with coves and sandbars, Lake Caliraya and Lake Lumot. The Americans also seeded the lake with largemouth black bass imported from the USA, which continues to proliferate and provide game fishers with year-round weekend excitement. In fact, the two lakes are some of the places in the whole country where Philippine anglers can attempt to catch the famed largemouth black bass, one of the top freshwater gamefish of the United States of America. During this regime, no further economic and infrastructure projects were implemented in the town of Cavinti. The Japanese occupation all over the country, Japanese period was the days of disorder, fear, and desolation. Shortage of food, limited infrastructure, limited medical services and limited educational services were rampant in the whole country. The Philippines was run by a puppet government as it was being governed by the watchful eyes of the Japanese Imperial Army. During this regime, insurgency becomes rampant and no further economic and infrastructure was implemented in the town of Cavinti. The Third Republic During this period, people in municipality of Cavinti gave their hope in the new form of government. However, due to the effect of war, there was an extensive problem in infrastructure specifically roads, bridges and the construction of schools alongside with the problem in pestilence and starvation. Thus, there was no further development for the town of Cavinti right until the 1960s, when ground was broken on the Lake Caliraya shoreline for the building of the resort communities which began a period of economic rebirth. Demographics In the 2015 census, the population of Cavinti was 21,702 people, with a density of 110 inhabitants per square kilometer or 280 inhabitants per square mile. People from Cavinti are being called by nearby towns as Cavintian. Language The language spoken in the town is the national language of the country, Filipino language, Tagalog. The medium of instruction in schools are English and Tagalog languages. Economy Cavinti is primarily an agricultural town. At the Poblacion, there are only a few commercial establishments which cater to the basic services of the people. Most of them still go to Santa Cruz to do their shopping or marketing and to avail themselves of other services not available in their town. Sources of income of the people of Cavinti are mainly focused on tourism and agriculture such as pele, bamboo, pandan, copra, coconut, vegetables and fruit trees. Piggery and poultry farming are also sources of additional income for the town folks. The business income of the local government primarily comes from CBK power plants, resorts, hotels and restaurants and operation of several tourism-related projects, annual budget, Internal Revenue Allotment, PHP 47346700.00 Economic Enterprise, PHP 24452640.00 National Wealth Share, PHP 8,000,000 Local Revenue, PHP 17,762,500.00 Total, PHP 97,561,840.00 Income Class, Third Class 
Annual events and festivals Independence Day celebration June 12 – Floral offering at the monument of Dr. José P. Rizal, the country's national hero, and a short program for the people to develop their sense of pride and nationalism, Sambalilo Festival August 3–6 – The Sambalilo Festival is one of the most colorful and prosperous festivals in the province of Laguna. It is celebrated to celebrate the handmade sombrero, hat made from pandan that has been the foremost livelihood of the people since time immemorial. Highlights of the fiesta include trade fair exhibits, Cavanti's Got Talent, Brass Band Bonanza, Street Dancing, Fireworks Display, Cavanti Fun Run, Palarong Pinoy, Traditional or Cultural Games, Exhibition Game of PBA Players vs. Cavanti All Stars and the World's Biggest Sambalilo, Christmas Day. December 25, Christmas Day in Cavinti is an integration of festive and competitive Christmas activities showcasing colorful highlight and array of decorations in Barangay and Municipal Building, Tilapia Festival. February 26-28, the first Tilapia Festival was launched on February 26-28, 2014 to promote tilapia trading in Cavinti. This celebration is the people's way of thanksgiving to the Almighty God by the tilapia traders in the town of Cavinti. A town that has been gradually identified for its fresh, delicious, and tasteful tilapia compared to other towns. Highlights of this festival featured motorcade, tilapia Olympics, street grilling of tilapia and other kinds of seafood, photo contest, seminar for tilapia traders and food fest, harvest festival, October 2-3, this festival showcases the abundance of various fruits that have become synonymous with Cavinti like santal, lanzones, rambutan, papaya, and durian. All the barangays participate as the festivities highlight the abundance of the fruits in season. Mayflower Festival Celebrated during the month of May, it is an old annual tradition by the Catholic majority which includes offering of flowers to the image of the Virgin Mary by those young girls all dressed in white called Associates, while praying the rosary, and the holding of various Santa Cruzans around the town. The Hermanos and Hermanas, chosen for each year, lead the festivities as a way of sharing their blessings to them. Tourist destinations Natural features like waterfalls, rivers, lakes, caves, and mountains are located in Cavinti. The Pagsingen Falls, which is locally known as Cavinti Falls, is actually located in Cavinti. Access to the falls is through Cavinti's own Pueblo El Salvador Cavinti Nature's Park and Picnic Groove in Barangay Tabatib Anglas. Visitors can view the nearby Mount Banaha along the man-made lakes of Caliraya and Lumat. Sailing, wind surfing and kayaking are other activities common along the lake areas. There are also other sites in Cavinti, like the Bumbungan Twin Falls, the Cavinti Underground River and Caves Complex, the Bayacan Falls and Bat Cave. List of tourist destinations Cavinti Falls, a.k.a. Pagsingen Falls, Burji, Anglis, Tabatib Cavinti Underground River and Caves Complex, Burji, Powan Nakulo Falls, Burji Anglis, Tabati Kali Raya Lake is a man-made lake popular for surface water sports and recreational fishing, Burji. East and West Tilayangan, and shared with the town of Lumban. Lumat Lake is another man-made lake connected to Kali Raya Lake by an underground penstock, which is also popular for water sports and sport fishing, Burji. Mahapan, Anau Awan, Bukal, Kansuso, and Powan. Bumbungan Eco Park, Burji. Tabati Pueblo El Salvador Cavinti Nature's Park and Picnic Grove, Burji. Anglas, Tabati Japanese Garden, Burji. West Tilayangan Bayacan Falls, Burji. Tabati Bat Cave, Burji. Tabati Bumbungan Twin Falls, Burji. Sumacab Talon ng Kaliraya, Burji. West and East Tilayangan. Roman Catholic Church, Transfiguration Parish, 1606. Aglipay Church.
Local government Like other towns in the Philippines, Cavinti is governed by a mayor and vice-mayor who are elected to three-year terms. The mayor is the executive head and leads the town's departments in executing the Sangguniang Bayan's ordinances and improving public services. The vice mayor heads a legislative council consisting of councillors, as members. At present, Cavinti municipal officials are Mayor, Milbert Oliveros, second term, Vice Mayor, Anita Conde, first term, Municipal Councilors, Errantly R. Arroyo, Crispin Sanchez, David Blastique, Elma Flores, Florcilius Guerra, Jimmy Oliveros Joel Anse, Marlon Villanueva. Infrastructure Municipal health clinics, Public market, Cavinti covered court, Cavinti sports complex, ABC multipurpose hall. Transportation Cavinti is approximately 100 kilometers 62 miles from Manila. From Manila via Calamba, a bus will take you to Santa Cruz, Laguna. In Sta. Cruz, jeepneys going to Cavinti can be found at the jeepneys terminal. Via Sta. Cruz, you will pass by the town of Pagsingen before you reach Cavinti. You will easily know it when you have reached the town because the roads become zigzagged with lots of sharp twists and turns. Transportation to its barangays are served by tricycles and jeepneys. Another route's mode of transportation to go to Cavinti. Cavinti to Santa Cruz, Jeepney, via Pagsingen, Maine, Cavinti. Cavinti to Santa Cruz, Jeepney, via Lumban, Maine, Cavinti. Lukban to Santa Cruz, minibus, via Cavinti. Lucina to Santa Cruz, minibus, via Cavinti. Louisiana to Santa Cruz, jeepney, via Cavinti. Infanta to Lucina, bus, via Cavinti roads and bridges. There are two main roads in Cavinti, the Kai Street. Where the public market and many commercial and business establishments located and the Magsaysay Drive where many commercial, stores, and business establishments located too. The two main bridges in Cavinti is the Cavinti Bridge which connects the Barangay Duhat and Barangay Poblacion, and another main bridge in Cavinti is the Tabatib Bridge which connects the Barangay Tabatib and Barangay Poblacion. Communication system Landline, PLDT Internet connection, Smart Broadband, Globe, PLDT Cellular phones, Smart, Globe, Sun Cellular Postal service, Philpost Inc. Cable, PAYTV, Signal, PLDT Utilities Electricity, Flico, First Laguna Electric Cooperative Water, Cavinti Water Supply System Education Public and private schools in Cavinti High schools Public, 4 Private, 1 Elementary Public, 17 Private, one day care schools, 17. College, deaf school, Raji, Powan. Media ABS CBN, Channel 2. GMA Network, Channel 7. TV 5, Channel 5. National Broadcasting Network, Channel 4. GMA News TV, Channel 11 Anthem 
The official song of the municipality of Cavinti and its people is Cavinti Hymn or Imno ng Cavinti. The anthem was composed by Bonifacio J. Linné, a native of Cavinti. References External links Official website of Cavinti A website about Cavinti Cavinti information from local governance performance management system